Hi, this is Joni Burkhart, and I'm here to help you input all of your information for your SLO plan. Right here, I've already signed into the employee evaluation system for Frontline, and as you can see, this brings me up to the tab of the learning plan. And right now, I have three items for SLOs that I need to complete. It has action required here. For an individual, for a school, which we're also going to use district for here, and then the student learning objectives, any artifacts that I want to add. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm first going to go to the individual and I'm going to click right here. And you can see the SLO form for the individual. If you have already completed your SLO form on a Microsoft Word document or Google, it's very easy to upload that, art that artifact clear at the bottom here. I'm going to go all the way down through. I encourage you to go through and look at this form, look at the questions that are here. But if you've already completed this, simply click right here, add an artifact. I can click in SLO individual, have to title it, and the teacher that I'm signed in as Washington Teacher 3, and I'm going to select a file. I go right here. I'm going to upload. I click that little blue button right here. It takes me to my desktop. I might have saved it in a Dropbox or a Google Drive, and I'm going to go right here. Uh, let's see. Clicking right here. I click Open. I click Save, and now I have already uploaded my individual SLO. I do not have to go back and retype everything. However, if you would like to have it typed in here, there are two other alternatives that you can do. You can copy and paste all of your information from a Word document or from a Google Doc, or the other thing that you can do is you can simply develop your SLO while you're in here. I will tell you, the best technology advice that I have been given is to always copy it to a Word document first and then copy and paste in here. But again, if you already have it done in a Word document, the easiest way to do it is simply upload it right here at the artifact. Add an artifact. It's clear at the bottom. Whatever you choose to do, whether you choose to copy and paste or just simply work on it in here or upload it as an artifact, the last thing that you need to do is include your electronic signature. The first one says that you acknowledge that you have reviewed, and you say yes, and then you simply type in your name as a digital signature. I forgot, I'm Washington teacher. If I want my observer or my principal to look at anything before I submit it, I could click Save and Notify. I select my administrator. Right now, these are the names that come up. And I could send it to the Washington County principal to look at. But you could have your principal look at it before you send it. Or you can click simply Submit. Whenever I click Submit, this goes to the observer for approval. And usually, that's your principal. So I'm going to click Submit. Do I want to submit this? Yes. It's saving and it's archiving the form. Now you can see that is gone from my action required to do and it's gone to my in progress and it tells you that it's awaiting the administrator acceptance. If the administrator approves it, a message will come back to you and it will say acknowledged. So this toolbar, this dashboard I should say, right here, will keep you informed of every action that is taken. I can do this, the same thing with the SLO development form for the district. I can attach it as an artifact and again the district one looks exactly like the individual one. Again I can type in here at the bottom. I can add the artifact. You could even add a hyperlink. But what you have to make sure to do is that you electronically sign it and then you save it or you submit it. You could also reset it if you said oh I have this entirely wrong, you could reset. Now, the good news is, is that this comes up as a tab right here. 
So I'm going to X out of that and it's going to say, are you sure that you want to leave? Yes, I want to leave because I don't want to make any changes. And as you see, this one is still, the district one is still being done right here. And this is if I want to add any artifacts. Maybe throughout the year, I add different types of artifacts. Here you just add an artifact, same way, title it, upload it by using the blue button. And you can keep adding additional artifacts throughout the year.